Hey, this is Dave of Dave Trains, and uh, first of all, I hope everyone had a uh, really nice Christmas. We sure did. We had a white Christmas, which was extremely unusual for us. Um, I know that uh, we're all still healthy and doing good, and uh, that's a great plus two also. I uh, just want to show you a little update on my what I've been working on. You know, my last couple of videos have been working on the road and parking lot scene over my uh, town over there had some troubles. I think I've got all that settled out and um, show you what I've got done on that and made a few other changes to the layout once I, I took all the the old uh, styrene sign up and so to speak to try to repair that. Um, as far as Christmas I did get a few things. I got a, uh, a brand new locomotive that I probably should have already taken out of the box but it's a um, uh, family lines. It is a uh, C630. Um, looking forward to get this going. Um, if somebody could tell me, uh, maybe you know, I don't know. I don't know where my, my kids got this at, but um, it says it's, it's an Atlas. It's a uh, silver series, and it said it's sound ready. Does anybody know if out there, let me know. If, does that mean you can buy a sound decoder that drops in or, you, you know, because almost all of my locomotives have been bought off of eBay so the sum uh, like my little little nines, the Jeep nines that I've got you know that was you can convert those to DCC but all the others have been you know purchased off eBay and it just has a straight decoder except for the one where my hobby shop actually had to do some modifications to put a sound decoder in so if anybody knows it's a silver series it's um it's a C630, yeah, and uh, it says it's sound ready. So if anybody knows anything about that, hey, leave it in the comments. I really appreciate it. Now, something else uh, happened is a gentleman that I'm subscribed to and I'm going to give a shout out for is um, it's a pretty good channel. Uh, check him out. It's uh, Fer Ferris Media Stan. So, but uh, it's a pretty good channel. And he just had um, some in-scale stuff he said he didn't use anymore, and um, and I can't reach it right now, but he sent me a southern box car. I wasn't prepared, uh, and I changed out the couplers on it. It runs really well. Um, if you um, watch closely in the intro, you'll see that train running with that box car in it. Um, plus, uh, he gave me some uh, other little items, um, some... Some of these are some KD items. There was a, a, a couple of truck combo and some uh, a couple of pairs of Magnematic uh, coupler conversion kits. I'm not quite sure to do that. And a little in scale man. Hey, you can't beat that. So I'm really appreciative. Um, go over and check his uh, channel out. I'll put a link below and uh, uh, tell him that Dave's train sent him. So anyway, uh, let me turn this off and I'll go on the other side and show you what I did. Well, first thing um, you notice, I've got all the, uh, um, I guess, road and parking lot combo completed all the way down to right before it goes into the turn there. Um, that has come out, that has worked really well. Uh, one thing that I wished I had done, and I, I had seen Mike Pfeiffer did it on how he did his roads, is I should have overlapped each side and then cut it and then cut this part out so it would have been a perfect uh, seam but I didn't do that and so what I was looking at doing and I don't know if you can see is I took some uh, plaster of Paris I uh, you know with the Rona going on we're just not going anywhere and um, I had I happen to have a lot of this and I basically put some painters tape down and then mixed up some of that uh, uh, material that um, plaster of Paris and, and filled in this gap and um, I'm going to have to paint it, but I, I've got to try to find and order some uh, flat black. I have some of the uh, very cheap um, art craft paint that you get from a Hobby Lobby or Walmart. And it's more of a gray color. It doesn't really match that. I mean, it, you could say it patched the road, but I think uh, if I can get a flat black, it'll look pretty good. 
The only bad thing is this is this is can crack and break out easy. Uh, you can see a little bit right there, but that's just an old road. Um, but I think that's going to turn out really well. Um, I definitely need some more buildings for my little town, but other than that. The other thing, if you noticed, uh, I did have like uh, for a while a small hill with some trees on it, and I basically have carried that on down to completely basically split the little small uh, industrial yard versus the town to give that a little bit more uh, separation between those two scenes. And um, that came out pretty good. I'm pretty well pleased with that. Uh, I guess my next uh, job to do is to do this area over here. Uh, these styrene signs that I have put down have never bubbled up, but um, I'm still going to change them out and uh, complete that scene. So I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks that I'll have the little town and the little industrial park over here completely finished. So hopefully uh, things will go on and that'll, uh, that'll work out. All right. So it's not, uh, it was a lot of work, a lot of time, you know, between Christmas and doing everything, but uh, it did come out pretty good. So let me turn the camera off and bring her to the other side. Well, that's all I've got for update number 31 on my little end scale layout. Um, hopefully I can get the paint in that I want and... Um, continue on replacing the styrene sheets on the other side of the industrial park and have that done. So I'm going to try to give uh, layout updates every two weeks, uh, give or take a day, uh, try to work more steady on the layout. Looks like um, things are kind of calming down as far as our projects around the house. Um, the kitchen is finished. We're just waiting on the countertops, but uh, they said it might be about a month before they come in. Uh, it looks great, but I can't show any pictures. My wife says until it's completed and she gets pictures out on Facebook or something like that she wants to do. But anyway, as always, I really appreciate you watching. Uh, I wish everybody here a happy new year and a safe happy new year. And uh, as always, if you want to follow me along on my little in-scale journey, uh, please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for future notifications when I do put videos out. And uh, if you feel like it, you like the video, give her a thumbs up. As always, like I said, I appreciate you watching. You have a great week. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.